Well, good morning, lovely people. Today, I'm not at the lovely place. I'm uh, at our current home that we eventually want to move from and get to the lovely place and build a home down there. But I wanted to show you a couple little things um, that we're dealing with here. We've got a little garden going. We've got some squash and we've got some uh, oregano. That's spaghetti squash. There's some oregano, some more squash, some cabbage. You can see we've had little cabbage worms just eating it up is that what that is right there is that worms right there i believe it is look at that right there you get those off of there my wife has identified those and i think that's what that is they're all over this ain't real that's rubber snake trying to keep things out speaking of keeping things out and there's some beans by the way over here that's yellow squash and we've got some zucchini right here but these are beans down here we got a bunch of tomato plants but we are having burrowing of chipmunks they're coming in they're digging and they're going around these roots and they're looking for something i guess the fertilizer that we've used and they're trying to get in there and eat it. Let me show you over here. So here we have a bunch of banana peppers. We've got bell peppers here. We've got tomato plants coming up. And look at what just happened. These, we stuck this back in the ground, but it was just clipped off at the bottom. These are banana peppers, and they were just three of them just laying over on their sides. And of course, we've had some basil here that's been pulled out. Lots of tomato plants. We're just now getting tomatoes. We put everything in late. But uh, here's a tomato right here, you can see. We got one coming. But uh, got a little, a few blooms. But yeah, we've. Uh, We've had all this burrowing going on underneath and in the dirt. And we decided, you know what? We can't let this keep going on. We've got to do something about it. So, uh, day before yesterday, I went and I, I went to Lowe's and I bought some live cage traps for small animals, for chipmunks, squirrels, or weasels, anything in that size range and here's what the trap looks like or at least the box it comes in it's a have a heart since 1940 live animal cage trap and look what we've got this is the second day in a row that we've got one of these guys i'm going to tell you what happened yesterday yesterday was the first time we caught one little chipmunk and I felt sorry for it I went out there yesterday morning grabbed this cage and thought well, it needs some water so I took it into the house and I got a little like a, a cap that goes on a two liter soda bottle and uh, filled it full of water and I tried to stick it through one of these holes and of course it wouldn't fit so I was inside the house so I, I set this on one of the tables and I Pop this off real slowly and I was gonna slide that water cap in there the moment I did this this little this little sucker right here just darted through and he landed in the floor of my my kitchen I I ended up it took me about three or four minutes but I corralled him I opened one of the back doors and I corralled him and he finally got out the door and he jumped off that deck right there and dove down here and I don't know if this is the same guy I think yesterday's guy was a little bigger than this one but we're going to go release him up in the woods, try to get him away from our garden, and hopefully we can keep catching them and getting them out of here because they are causing some damage and making us lose some crops. But, what a, what a beauty. Okay, let's let her go. Let him go. See what happens. 
Ya mah. Okay, well, it's morning number three, and this looks like the number three chipmunk that we're going to have. Yes, indeed. We've got us another one. That's three days in a row. I'm telling you what, we are, we have no shortage of these guys. I guess if you ever get really hungry, you're in good shape. But uh, at this point in time, uh-oh, get down there. <laughs> it wants to come out. I'm going to take this thing and get rid of it. I'm telling you what. They are, uh, they're fast. I really like these live traps. Um, it's kind of cool to get them and make sure that no harm comes to them. And uh, I'm taking him up the road uh, just on the outside of my neighborhood to an area that is uh, wooded. And uh, I thought it would be great to let him go over here where I let the one go yesterday and see if he can find his brother. But uh, yeah, I guess we're gonna get one or two a day for a while. We'll see how long that lasts. Are you ready to go free? Let's do it. Let's see how it feels to be free again. Day number four, chipmunk number four. I'm telling you, these live traps are awesome. And you don't have to hurt these babies. Either. You just take them all to one location, relocate their whole family, and get them out of your garden. It's a win-win. <laughs> Isn't that right? Makes you want to keep them as pets, though. They're so cute. You're a cutie. Yeah, you are. All right, let's go release this guy. Say bye. Say thanks for joining us at the lovely place.